wedding wisely. Uh, of course, September, October, this is the peak season and the prices are usually high. So if you have a chance, let's do the wedding during the week. Prices will be slightly lower and focus on the season. Do your big day in March or November when the hotels are not that busy and you can get better prices from all the vendors. First and most important, please find a professional team. Only those who are super experienced in what they are doing will make you feel comfortable on your big day. Uh, you can find reviews on Google or Facebook if you choose the wedding planner or photographer, videographer or other uh, specialists for your wedding. So I would suggest to check out the reviews of them because uh, a lot of couples do like weddings in Prague, so uh, they do leave the reviews for this uh, photographer or videographer or wedding planner, so you can read if they have bad reviews, I would suggest avoid them. So uh, from the review, so you can find the best uh, specialist for your wedding. Come to Prague in advance, uh, choose your vendors personally. We can arrange for you site inspection so you can decide on the ceremony reception venue. You can arrange meetings with all the professionals. Uh, you can meet a videographer, photographer, do the trial uh, for the hair and makeup, for example. What makes troubles for me as for wedding photographer in Prague is when couples plan the wedding photoshoot locations on their own. Of course, usually they, have, uh, they want to have the most recognizable sites at the backgrounds of their photos, but they don't consider other effects like, like bad lighting and um, mass of tourists and remoteness of the locations. So please trust your photographer. It's your wedding day and the photos should be about you and not about the Prague city. Make your guests feel welcome. Inform them in advance uh, when is the wedding gonna be, what about the flights, about the accommodation. Create the website uh, so they get their, all the information. And if you can arrange for them pre-wedding dinner so they know the Prague a little bit, we can arrange boat trip, make brunch the day after. I think it's a new trend uh, to have not only a DJ on your wedding, but also you can uh, take a, a MC or a professional host that uh, make your party more enjoyable and entertainment going up 10 times more than if you have only a DJ. The professional host can do the best and uh, with, with the cooperation with the DJ, he can do a really great party and um, this is, I think, a new trend and I really strongly recommend it. If the budget is lower, you can go with buffet. It's usually cheaper than served menu. You don't need to pick up expensive, to choose expensive champagne. It can be just Prosecco. You don't need to pay for all the spirits for your guests and you can just, uh, you can just block some sum of money that you will spend for it. In short, don't spend money on less important things. And instead of booking a five-star hotel in the very center, you can consider booking a spacious, beautiful apartment just 10 minutes away from the old town area. Many people say that we can do just the photos, we don't like to be on the video, we just don't enjoy it. It's really a big mistake because you will eat all the food, drink the wine, the flowers will just go away, but what is forever? photos and video. So if you can do it, please, because this is memory for the rest of your life. If you have a wedding ceremony or reception or this hotel in different location and you don't get the transportation for you, for let's say for the guest or for the crew, uh, the photographer or videographer, because it, sometimes uh, couples say like, ah, we will just 
take a taxi or just call the Uber. But I think it's not the best option uh, because um, you we everything is planned so we have to be this time we have to be the only location this kind of stuff so waiting for the taxi or uber we losing precious time so i would really suggest to get transportation which is wait for us we just hop on we just drive some other location to some photos videos or we just uh, drive from one ceremony place to reception this kind of stuff so we don't just lose time uh, so we do we do we do get more footage for more photos with it so uh, i would suggest uh, to get transportation for your wedding day Determine the wedding you want. In case you have lower budget, don't choose the location where is charged rental fee. Go with the venue where is just the minimum consumption. Also think about the location. You can do the wedding everything under one roof or think about the venues that are close to each other and you don't need to arrange transportation and uh, pay for it. So please remember that wedding is not a photo shoot and just enjoy, relax and take it easy.